In this video, we'll be fixing unbearable ping spikes in Roblox, just a few tweaks in the right settings, and we're good to enjoy any Roblox game smoothly. So, let's get into it. We don't have much in the game settings, but we can actually do something in the Roblox player. Head on to account settings. Here put your real location. And after that, there will be two links in the description, one for the TCP optimizer, and one for gear up gain booster, you just need to click on them, and you'll be redirected into my website. Here in case you find any ad, just close it from here, and click on the download link again, and you'll be here, or you can even manually come here by searching TCP optimizer. Download it from here. Download the gear up gain booster as well. And after the download, let's start with the TCP optimizer, run it as an admin. And follow these settings. Drag it all the way to 100, select your network adapter. Check custom. Window auto tuning to normal. Windows Scaling Heuristics to Disabled, Congestion Control Provider to CTCP, RSS Enabled, RSE Enabled, TTL to 64, ECN to Disabled, Checksum Offloading to Disabled, TCP to Disabled, LSO Disabled, TCP Timestamps should be Disabled as well. Now go to Advanced Settings, Max Connections per Server should be 10, Local priority to 4, host priority to 5, DNS priority to 6, net priority to 7, max SAN retransmissions to 2. Non-SAC RTT resiliency to disabled, initial RTO to 2000, min RTO should be 300. QoS NLA to optimal 1, network throttling disabled, system responsiveness to gaming. TCP frequency to disabled, no deploy to enabled. Ticks disabled. System cache should be default and size should be optimized. Max user port should be 65534, and wait delay should be 30. That's all, apply changes, hit OK. Now again restart. After that simply install gear up game booster. You can change its location from here. You can uncheck this one, but keep these both checked. Then hit install. And in the booster, it should automatically detect the games, but if it doesn't just sign in with your Gmail. and then search for Roblox in here. It's now automatically adjusting your network routes for the least ping and packet loss possible. After it's connected, you can launch your game from here. To see your ping, just go to settings. And turn the performance stats on. Here is the result. And here is the before and after comparison. And yeah if you're thinking if the gear up game booster gets you banned in Roblox or not. As far as I know a lot of creators and pros are using it too, such as Clowny Smash, Agamatsu, Humbled, etc. So it's totally not bannable. Right after that, we'll be opening some ports in Windows Firewall for Roblox, and so, search for Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. 
Inbound rules. New rule. Port. Check UDP. And type off the port shown in the screen. Next. Check this one and go next. Make sure everything is checked. Here name it anything you want. And it's done. Now we'll disable some background apps, cause unnecessary background apps are most likely to eat up a portion of your network speed. So, open run using Windows plus or key, type out gpedit.msc. Administrative templates, Windows components, App privacy. Here right click on this. Edit. This might be disabled. You have to enable this and select on force deny. That's it. Exit it. Now, we'll find the best DNS server for your PC. Open up run. Type cmd, hit enter. Now type ping 1.1.1.1 and hit enter. It will show you how much ping you get from here. Just for me it's 5ms. And now type pint 8.8.8.8 and hit enter. It's 42 ms, so obviously first one is better for me. So I'll go with this DNS server. But in your case it might be different. All right now, head on to settings, network and internet, advanced network settings, ethernet, here press on edit, select internet protocol version 4. In the general tab, select this option, and for those who have lower ping with 8.8.8.8, you have to put 8.8.8.8, and in the second row, 8.8.4.4. Then hit OK. But if you have less ping in this 1.1.1.1, type 1.1.1.1, and here type 1.0.0.1. That's it, hit OK and exit it. Now we'll be updating and adjusting some settings of our network adapter. Search for Device Manager. Here in the Network Adapters tab, right-click on the first one. Press on Update. Search automatically. Now search for updated drivers on Windows Update. Alright if you find any update just do it. And back to the Device Manager, go to its properties, Advanced. Now follow my settings. That's it. Now restart your machine. And yeah, another crucial tip for you guys, whenever you're about to launch your game, just make sure to exit every browser or app from this tray. So that pretty much wraps it up. And thanks for sticking around. Hope you found these tips handy. Don't forget to smash that like button. Creating this content is no joke. And with all due respect, love your parents, respect your country, and most importantly, take care of yourselves. Catch you in the next video. Until then. Oh yeah, here are some videos, might be useful for you, so you can check them out.